Well, something a bit different today. We've been invited, or I've been invited, to join a whole group of people that are going down to somewhere near Holtwhistle in Northumberland to make a visit to Team Oliver Truck Racing. Now, it's something I've never seen before. It's not actually racing. We're not going to watch any truck racing today. Just going down to look at uh, the Team Oliver range of trucks that they have, including one that in his last race he had a bit of an accident with and it's done a little bit of damage to it, which you'll see, hopefully, He's brought in the unit in his warehouse when we get there. But that's where we're heading off today. So I'm just busy tidying up here in the garage, taking a break from working on this, which you'll see in the next video. But for now, though, let's get over to Team Oliver Racing and see what's on, on their show down there. Team Oliver did say, if you have any classic or interesting vehicles, feel free to bring them with you. So some of the cars you're looking at, you may recognise some of the videos, or if you're local and you're in the northeast of Northumberland, you may have seen them at other car shows. Anyway, while you're looking at these cars, a bit of history on Team Oliver. Team Oliver Racing consists of Stuart and his son, Michael. Stuart Oliver has been British Truck Racing Champion 10 times, and in 2004, he was European Racing Champion. He's also appeared on Top Gear in the past. Oh yes, loving the yard art. I wonder if I've got space for one of those at my place. Now these are all MAN trucks. And whilst they look vastly different to what you might see on the road to and trailers up and down the country, these are very similar with only a few modifications to make them stand out from the ones that you see on the road. Obviously, um, instant modification you can see in this one is that the engine has been moved further back to help with weight distribution. The tyres aren't your standard road tyres over here in the UK, they're proper race tyres. A lot of the bodywork, the fairings and the spoilers etc is fibreglass and obviously all of the livery and uh, the decals that have been put on there from the sponsors and Team Oliver's, only, uh, and Team Oliver's own racing colours. You can see here that there's a lot of uh, extra tubular work uh, for strengthening and protection down the side of the cabs and down the side of the chassis rather. Uh, the, the all disc brakes, the disc brakes are water cooled, there's actually a, a water tank and some jets underneath that shoot cold water onto the brake discs as they're racing to try and cool, keep the brake discs cool. Now MAN themselves put a lot of work into these trucks in order to test things out to see if they'll work on these trucks, would they work the same way when they're out and about on the roads across the UK and the rest of the world. You can see one of the, the turbos there. There's one of the crash bars now that protects things like the water tank, the fuel tank, the air tank, etc. Uh, that fifth wheel <laughs> with the crisps on top of it that's just uh, it's, it's not an actual fifth wheel, it's just a cover to uh, make it look as close to original as possible. This is one of the other trucks that they use. And uh, now, inside this one, you can see some of the features and all of the safety that goes in to protect the driver in the event of a nasty accident. You can see those a roll bar there, uh, part of the roll cage. Obviously no steering wheel at the moment, they are quick release steering wheels. That's the uh, the racing seat for plenty of protection. Now, look at this roll cage. I can well imagine if anything happens untoward on the track, 
that's going to be a lot of benefit to yourself and keeping you safe. Also, a brief notice there on the windscreen, there's a couple of bars going down the inside of the windscreen just for that uh, added protection in case the windscreen shatters. There's another look at the engine in this particular model. Again, the engines are moved slightly further back uh, for, to help with weight distribution. Apparently, these weigh 5,300 kilos. Absolutely amazing thing, so look at the size of that crash bar at the back or bumper. Now this one is the number 7 truck. It's a Volvo. Again, as you can see, plenty of fiberglass bodywork on there. This is the one that was recently in a little bit of an accident. As you can see, lots of damage to the fiberglass shell. Frame has bent there. There's a dent in that tank. Uh, but look at this part here. The entire back axle is twisted. And look at the damage to that rim on that tyre. That's a severe beating that that's taken. It did go off the track. Uh, through the arm core and up the embankment. Uh, the axle is bent. Uh, one of the pistons locked up, ripped the bolts out the main cap bearing, or the main bearing cap rather. The conrod came through the side of the engine and uh, took the power steering pump out. There's the main bearing cap that came off. And that's obviously just the uh, a spare gearbox there and of course along with all the racing you do comes one or two trophies have a look at these absolutely astounding all these trophies in this room there's just so many of them where would you start we'll spend a fortune on uh, polishing to keep uh, keep all these nice and shiny as they are but this room is actually absolutely littered with uh, trophies Really hope you enjoyed this brief look around Team and Lover Racing all the way over here in Hull Whistle. Uh, they are racing again in August. Details of that coming up in a minute. For now though, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, press the like button on the way out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.